Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 here with an unspeakable tragedy. Bean Bean Castle Town completely decimated in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. It was hyped up to be this great place, but we got here and we find that it is absolutely demolished, destroyed. And they say the town was attacked. The horror. The horror. Can't let it in the odd helmet wearing one. So sudden. Oh no, this is clearly terrible. This is... this is awful. How... how could they do this to the Bean Bean Castle Town? How could they just destroy it like that? What does this guy have to say? This is the only store that's gonna stay open. Well, we'll take advantage of that and buy some stuff. Alright, so if we talk to this ugly looking thing, it looks like... I don't even know. You can draw your own, own conclusions about that. But, uh... we can buy some stuff. We can buy mushrooms, we can buy syrups, and we can buy refreshing herbs, which we don't have any of yet. Um, now, as you can see in the top part of the screen there, the top right, with our stash points, we can actually get a discount with proper items. Uh, so, with certain items, rather. So, this would normally be 24 coins, but since we have some pretty good stash power, it's now down to 22 coins. And so that kind of balances out the price of items in the long run. We're going to buy a few refreshing herbs, though, we'll buy five. Because we are going to run into some status ailments a little later. We'll buy uh, three mushrooms too. Just to make an even amount. Because I always like, for some reason, in RPGs to have an even number. I don't know why, I just do. What does this guy have to say? For the time being, yeah, he can't do anything. Uh, you also see that we have this little display here. Um, it's a pair of overalls. So we do, in this game, in addition to items and stuff like that, we do get a clothing that we can equip and increase our stats. So that's always good. They attacked, blah blah blah. So I guess the whole thing about Prince Peasy was a diversion so that Cacletta could attack the main Bean Bean Castle town. Quite ingenious, if I do say so myself. So let's head up to Bean Bean Castle, because that seems like where we would find the solution to our problem. You know, save. Savings overrated. Oh, hi, Royal Knights. Halt, you there, halt! You can't just waltz on in here. Well, I think I can. The town has been attacked, which means the castle could be attacked at any moment. And we're the Mario Bros. We save things, so we should probably let us in. Lady Lima, who the hell's that? But we'll find out later. I was instructed us not to allow anyone to enter the castle, anyone whatsoever. Having said that, if you still wish to enter, you must explain your names and your motives. We're the Mario Bros. <laughs> what? You are the world famous Mario? Yes. What? And you are the legendary Luigi? <laughs> Hell yeah we are. Hey, not cool. <laughs> Don't anime fall. Okay. If you really are the superstar Mario, then prove it! Jump! Back jump! No mistaking it! <laughs> I love this, this guy really is Mario! I can't be certain. Damn it! What the hell? Just let me in. What business would the famous Mario and Louis, whatever his name is, have in the castle? Mm, oh, 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 I see, gotcha. Big text means we're yelling. What do they want? No clue. Okay, this is ridiculous. Come on, just let me in. Regardless of all that nonsense, you may not enter. Now be gone. Ah, but we have a rose. Prince Peasley's rose. Is that? We are friends of Prince Peasley. We could have just said that in the first place. Maybe we ought to let these guys inside. Okay. Take into account that Rose and your wacky story. We can allow you to enter. Excellent. That was one wacky story. Woo! Excellent. Let's just get in here. So this is it. This is Bean Bean Castle with a very interesting green floor pattern and smiley faces. Don't ask me what's up with that. Uh, authorized personnel only. Fine. I'll just go this way. Okay, we have some weird face thing. <laughs> Such interesting decor of Bean Bean Castle. Anyway, there's no enemies in here, so we can just walk around freely and explore. Here we do have a rose block, though, so I'm gonna make use of this and not fail it, hopefully. I know I'm gonna fail one. Oh god, oh boy. Off sync already. A lot of coins in here. There's a lot of coins in those rose blocks if you do them properly. Definitely good opportunities. Hey, hello. What do you have to say? Dot, dot, dot. You have to say dots. Well, Master Mario and Master Luigi. Oh, hi. I am Lady Lima, highest of the ladies at the court. The gatekeeper told me of you. Are you indeed Mario Luigi of fame, the superstars? Hell yeah we are. Ah, so this is the person who Cacletta impersonated to visit the Mushroom Kingdom, if you noticed. Pardon me? What are you trying to tell me? 
Oh, do speak up! <laughs> hey, listen to me! Oh, shut such ruckus! Speak in softer voices! Make up your damn mind! Oh, whoa, that is a weird face. That is a very, very weird face. That might haunt my nightmares for a very, very long time. Hey, what's up with that? What the? What? Hear my words. What? What the? Notice how her nose is like wiggling around as she talks. That's ridiculous. I must prove it by repairing the castle's plumbing. Wow. So, Mario Bros are actually going to do plumbing in a game. Who knew that we could, they were actually capable of doing plumbing? I thought they were. that was just all a ruse, an elaborate story. So that they could, you know, not be completely ostracized by having no profession at all. They actually are plumbers, and they're gonna prove it right now. No longer carpenters. Oh, hey, that's a stronger variation of fighter fly, I think. Yeah, it is. Let's see. These guys are a little faster than fighter flies. They attack a little differently. You just gotta get used to it. These are super flies. They're really not that hard, though. You just jump on them. Really easy. Come on, Superfly, bring it on. Let's hammer the Superfly. That seems like a good idea. Ooh! Good experience, and there's some mushrooms. That's good. So now we have fixed the castle's plumbing, because apparently that takes top priority here. So all you have to do is hammer those things into the ground. And we have more enemies here. These look like stronger Sharpias, but they're actually familiar Mushroom Kingdom enemies. These are Spinies, so that's good. Actually fighting a familiar foe here. Spinies are a little tricky. Their health isn't all that high, but they do have some pretty high defense. So getting a hammer for a strike definitely helps out. Because those guys are a little tricky, and they dash in pretty quickly. I don't want to jump. I'd rather hammer. Hammer! Okay, come on, bring it on. Yeah, they, they rush in a little quickly, so you got to have your timing down. Oh, dead. Good stuff. I'm gonna use some of those mushrooms that I just got. Uh, I'll go to items and mushrooms. Let's use one on Luigi and one on Mario. So mushrooms recover 25 health, so they're pretty much full heals at this point in the game. Maintenance manual. Whack the stoppers in the areas that leak to plug all holes. Okay. I will do that. There are a lot of enemies down here. Wow. So once you plug all the holes in a room, uh, the gate will open and the water will be unleashed or released or whatever you want to say. We do get a nice remix of the underground theme in this area. Let's hammer these guys. These guys, see, look, look at how tough they look. These guys look like they need business. Ow. I forgot about that attack. That's also another attack. You have to hit them while they spin or else they'll just charge at you. So let's take them down one by one. Dead. A <laughs> critical hit. Don't you love that? When you, need, you don't even need a critical hit, but you get it, and it's just like overkill at that point. That seems to happen all the time in Pokemon and Fire Emblem, especially. It's just like, I only need one damage to kill the, the opponent. Critical hit! It does like 30 damage. <laughs> okay, didn't really need to do that, but whatever. Uh, we have one more Superfly. I think I'm going to take that thing out. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Very nice. So yeah, now at this point you can choose whether or not you want to stun enemies or, uh, oh well, two jumps, trying to fake me out there, or do a little bit of damage. I always prefer a little bit of damage as opposed to stun because I find that most enemies' attacks are pretty easy to dodge anyway, so you can, uh, and you can counterattack while they attack, so damage is good. Stun's good too, though, against some certain enemies. And of course, like Spinies, you have to stun them, because you can't jump on them. Pretty easy Mario and Luigi mechanics, though. All the stuff you'd expect. Oh, ow. Was not paying attention. Damn it, Mario. Stop doing that. You're going back to your poor dodging ways of Episode 6. Jump on that thing. Yeah. But yeah, there is no power difference between the jump and the hammer. It's not like Paper Mario, where the jump does like one and one, as opposed to the hammer that does two. It's just, you know, the same, but a different means of attacking. Okay, let's continue on. There's another stopper. So let's throw that in. Oh boy, surprise attack coming from above. Hammer. Good stuff. There are a lot of battles down here, though. That is one thing. So it doesn't guarantee, you know, it doesn't guarantee that you'll, uh, stun these guys, of course, when you hit them with the hammer. 
but usually it does. It'll actually stun slower enemies, I think, more often than it'll stun faster enemies. So since the super flies are pretty quick, I had a, had a much lower chance of stunning them. Yeah, take that. You guys can't even touch me at this point. I know your attack patterns. That's pretty much all it takes in this game. Once you learn the enemy's attack patterns, you know, you can take them down pretty quickly. And usually they can't even damage you because you'll just counterattack. I don't want to jump, though. Don't make the mistake of jumping on them. Trust me, you'll regret it. There we go, some good experience. These guys give a lot of experience, too. That's another reason why I'm actually bothering to fight all of them. Because these guys, at, for this point in the game, they dish out some really nice experience. Uh, so actually, that did stun the Superfly, which is good. So now I can destroy it with some jumping action. Let's hammer that Spiny. Come on, Spiny, bring it on. You can't do anything. Yeah, take that. Okay, hammer this guy and get rid of him with another unnecessary critical hit. I'm pretty sure that wasn't necessary anyway. Take out this guy. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. You shall not pass. Okay, here we go. One final hammer, and now he's dead. 42 experience and level 9. Look at that. Progressing through the levels pretty quickly. Good stuff. Good stuff, Mario. All right, let's increase Mario's... Let's see. You know what? We, we could increase his... Uh, his speed's pretty high for this point in the game. So I'm not even going to touch his speed. I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for a stash. Because I really don't, can't think of anything else that needs to level up. And look, you can tell by the world rat that pretty much you're going to get a 2 or a 3 here. There are no 1s. So that's good. That's when it's always worth it to level up a stat. And look at that. Luigi in the same battle gets another level up to level 9. Yeah, Luigi's stats are lagging behind Mario's quite a bit. Which is kind of disappointing. But uh, let's level up his stash as well. That sounds like a good idea. Come on, get some more stash. Yeah, three stash. I like that. Very nice. So I think they're even in stash points at this point. Uh, so we have these things. I believe in order to spin these, you do a spin jump into them. And they will... Yeah. They'll do that. So now, let's see. I believe we just have to hit the stoppers back in. I don't know why we had to, uh... No, 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 no. I don't know why, why we had to actually go through all that trouble of getting them out in the first place, but... Whatever. Oh, well, we got hit by a thing. Let's fight another battle. So all these jumping. Stop, super flies. Freaking flies. Get out of here, you goddamn flies. Also, one thing I like in this game is you can hammer any enemy on screen. It's not necessarily just the front enemy. Um, like in Paper Mario, you can only hammer the enemy that's in the front, which I think does add a little more difficulty and strategy to a battle, but in this game, you can hammer any enemy that you want. And of course, jump on any enemy you want. Oh, Mario, not in good shape right now. Hammer that thing. Yeah, there we go. Critical hit. Crush that guy. Uh, one thing you can't do that I wish you could is pass actions to the other Mario Bros. But I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll have Mario heal himself. And we'll have Luigi kill the fighter fly with a hammer. Or super fly, rather. Not a fighter fly. Some good experience. Very nice. Hammer! So hammer that. And now the water is back to full force. And that gate will open up. So let's proceed through the gate. I mean, there's a bunch of enemies around here. Alright, let's see what we have to do down here. Oh, items. Oh, no. oh <laughs> that sucked. I jumped on it. I meant to get the item box, but I jumped on it, so... And I pressed the wrong button. So, that kind of sucked. Luigi just took a lot of damage that I didn't really need to. Okay, hit. And hammer that thing. Yeah, a lot of battles here, but... Hey, that's Mario and Luigi for you. Every RPG has several moments where there's just battle after battle after battle. And you can't really do anything about it. But it's good, though, because it gets you good experience. And like I said, for this point in the game, these guys dish out some very, very nice experience. So you want to try to battle as many as you can down here. Alright, one final hammer. Maybe he'll die in his own attack. No, because he actually hit Luigi. I'll use another mushroom to heal myself. Again, plenty of mushrooms. I have 38 of them. Might as well use them up. And a hammer to take out this last guy. Very nice. So let's grab these items, and then I think I'm going to call it a day for this episode. So this has been Shadow Mario 41. This is Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Next time, I'm going to continue working these sewer puzzles and doing some other stuff. Uh, 
Yeah, you know what? I'll do one more battle. We can, we can make this a video of battles. Of a very long sign-off. Uh, next time we're gonna continue fixing the sewer and see what's up with Lady Lima after we fix the plumbing, because I'm sure we're gonna do a successful job with the plumbing. We're the Mario Bros, after all. How can we not? And we're probably gonna fight more fighter flies and spinies and all sorts of crazy enemies from this game. And we'll do some other stuff too. I'm sure there'll be many surprises waiting in Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. See you guys then. Ciao. And 841 experience. Way to way to end the video. Both brothers at 841 experience. Ha! Take that.